Ever wonder if water will keep running from your tap? No, you don't have to, because you can almost be sure it always will. However, in large parts of the world, people cannot be so sure. Each day is a challenge to get the water they need for drinking and washing. Today, it's common practice to place a pump in a village to provide water. Costing roughly 10,000 euros. After two or three years, the pump stops working and nobody is able to fix it, leaving the villagers without water again. Then another organization arrives and puts in a new system spending another 10,000 euros. Then, after some time, it fails again. 40% of the systems are not functioning the way they should. How can we change this? A first step is to take all the costs into account. These are what we call the life cycle costs for service delivery. And these life cycle costs consist of the following. First, the capital expenditure the initial investment, so the capital invested in pumps, pipes and latrines. Secondly, operation and minor maintenance costs, the ongoing expenditure on labor, fuel and materials. Thirdly, capital maintenance expenditure, the costs for when the big stuff fails, when after a few years the generator breaks or pipes need to be replaced. The fourth cost component is expenditure on direct support from local staff, experts sent by the district office. Then there are two other cost components. These tend to be smaller. First, there is expenditure on indirect support. This includes capacity building, policy making, planning, monitoring and evaluation. Secondly, the cost of capital. What we mean here is the actual cost of financing a program or project. The interest you pay and exchange rates can affect your budget later on. Now we know what costs have to be covered to provide a service. But what is a service? How can we measure what people receive for their money? The four indicators are Quantity How many litres does one person get in a day? Quality So, for example, is the water polluted? Accessibility How long does it take to get water? This also includes waiting in line. Reliability. So how many days is the system actually working? The four indicators can be placed in a service ladder with five levels of service, from no service to high service. Basic service corresponds with the norm of the country, because if we don't know what a service costs, we can't budget. And if we don't budget, we can't act to stop the cycle of failure. Many organizations and countries already use the cost components or service level indicators. So, is this life cycle costs approach a complete solution for all challenges in the water sector? Of course it isn't. But it could bring us closer to water and sanitation services that last, and not just a one-time investment. Water, after all, should be a given, not a gift.